Today we're going to talk about the 10 essentials and what I carry with me when I go hiking. The 10 essentials are an easy way to have the right stuff with you so you hopefully die less. So let's jump into it now. The first of the 10 essentials is the map. And here in the Northwest in Washington state, we use what, we're, what are called green trails maps. And they cover all of the trails within Washington state. Uh, if I can't find a map for a particular area or I don't have one, I always print one out. So I always have a map. I also take a GPS with me. I have a GPS on my watch. I have a Garmin 5. X. Um, I did another video on it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. I also carry a Garmin 610 GPS. I wouldn't recommend this for the hiker, but because I use this between my motorcycle and, and hiking, I think it, it, it works fine. If you don't know how to navigate and read a map, I would highly recommend to get a book dedicated to that. Um, the Mountaineers Publishing makes some great stuff. Um, Knowles has some stuff as well. But the reason I bring this up is because I've seen YouTube videos and some of the instruction is a little bit iffy. So either make sure it's a re reliable source on YouTube or go and buy a book specific to navigation. The second essential is a compass. And this is pretty straightforward. Um, the compass along with the map is gonna help you know what direction you're looking, where you're going. I would definitely recommend a flip up one like this. It not only protects it, the other thing that I would highly advise is practice with a compass. Get a cord that's going to be at a distance that you can hold it out in front of you and you get used to this because moving your arm around like this is gonna be a lot more accurate than moving your hand around like this. So again, recommend a compass with a flip up. This is a Sunto. Um, I've had it for several years. It works great. The third essential is sunglasses and sunscreen. And um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna make sure that you're not getting sunburn and you don't burn up your eyes if you're walking on a glacier. The fourth essential is clothing. And typically this is extra socks, gloves, caps, things to make you comfortable. Um, and the way that I look at it, things that'll make you comfortable if you stop moving. The other thing to keep in mind is if you're doing strenuous exercise, hiking uphill and something happens, you're gonna be sweaty, you're gonna get cold quick. So always keep that in mind when you have extra clothes. My extra clothes always go into a dry bag. This time of year in Washington, it's uh, 46 degrees outside right now. I carry an ultra lightweight um, puffy. Um, this will carry through winter, fall, um, fall and spring. If I'm not carrying this, then it's some sort of fleece like a Panagonia R1 in the summer. The other thing that I always have in my bag is, is a waterproof jacket. Even if it's sunny, sunny, you never know. A great one that I use is Outdoor Research Helium. Um, super light, um, you can hardly even tell you have it on and it works, it works well in light to medium downpours. But I have my stuff in here, I have socks, um, I have some, um, I have a hat, I have some gloves, I have some insulated gloves that go inside these mittens, and so this just this just uh, this just lives in my in my bag. The fifth essential is light, and I tend to carry um, two lights with me. Uh, I would always recommend a backup and a cell phone. I don't consider backup. Um, I take a regular flashlight and a headlamp. Um, I've been using black diamond headlamps for years. They seem fairly fairly durable, they're affordable, um, they work well. I've also been using the Phoenix branded uh, USB rechargeable flashlights as of late. It's really nice to have a headlamp and a flashlight separately so that if you're looking around for something or it just gives you more mobility. So instead of taking two headlamps, I, I tend to carry a flashlight and, a, and, and another headlamp. The next essential is first aid. I have a small kit, it's actually in my car right now. It has gauze, pads, band-aids and some other minor essentials that uh, that will get you by if something happens. The next essential is fire and um, while I'm getting into my bag here one thing that I think is really important to mention when we're talking about 10 essentials is you need to have a system so you need to have for me I have a bag that has all of my essentials in it 
you've seen me kind of going in and out of here. This has things as goofy as like a titanium spoon that I just keep in here because I know where it is. Um, this is where my sunscreen is. And then I my headlamps and then I also have a, um, a miscellaneous bag and we're gonna talk about fire here. So in my bag I have, um, I have a couple mini Bics in here. I have um, I have little things of matches. I have some aspirin, things like that. So this bag goes inside a dry bag, which goes inside another dry bag with my clothes. And by keeping everything in the same place, you know where things are, and it's really easy to easy to spot check and 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 see what's going on before you go on a hike. So one other thing you need in your kit is some sort of shelter, and that could be a tarp, that could be a bivy. In my particular case, I take one of these um, Survive Outdoors Longer um, Emergency Bivy. It's that kind of metallic plastic material. Um, definitely keep you warm for a while. Wouldn't recommend sleeping in it. It doesn't breathe very well. Um, but if I am going on a hike where if something comes up, I may need to stay overnight. I want to be a little bit more comfortable. I have an outdoor research um, Aurora Bivy. It's a, it's a Gore-Tex Bivy that makes it uh, comfortable to spend the night. The next essential is a knife. And the knife that I use is one of these teeny beeny Leathermans. It's super light, you can clip it on your pack. Um, it allows you to cut things. It's got the little um, little scissors on there. Um, looks like some dried coffee from cutting some instant Starbucks Via packets. I don't find any need to carry any knife larger than this. I'm not gonna be stabbing any cougars or taking on any bears. There's I don't see the threat of people in the back country. So I think something like this is fine. I've never needed anything more than this, um, but it certainly comes in handy. And the last essential we're gonna talk about is food. And for me, food means cliff bars. I love cliff bars. I buy them by the dozens. Um, if I'm going hiking, I throw a bunch in my bag. I have them all over the place. In fact, I probably, I probably have some, yeah, I have some in this bag. I have one in this bag. Um, I just find that they're, that they're good calories. I mean, they're a little heavy if you have a whole lot of them, but it's easy to throw them in there. You can know how many how many calories you have. And the last item we're gonna talk about is water. I use these smart water bottles. I typically use two. Um, full one goes in the bag, second one goes in an external pocket. Once I know this one's empty, I know I have one more. It, it helps me keep an eye on um, where I'm at exactly with water. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to support the channel and be safe if you're heading into the wilderness. See ya.